Hey everybody, welcome back. We, I think, are at that tower. It was at the end of the road. Uh, we had just kind of faced the the man in black and either absorbed power or like utilized something we didn't know we had and stopped him. And then we also stopped like the collapse of all these buildings around us. So I presume that, that this is now the tower. Oh, hello. Interesting. That eyeball is the one that was on the door that was in, like, the dream corridors. And also interesting is that the door was just open for us on our way in. These kind of, like, are the television portals, but doors. Yo. And that eye is everywhere. Thought above a couple doors there. Looks above this door. It's on that back wall. What does it all mean? You might be wondering, what does it all mean? Are we in an endless time loop? Looks like we might be in an endless time loop. Look at us in this endless time loop. I wonder if I kept going through the doors, would I be in this endless time loop? Yes, what if I go back through this door? Losers. Okay, well, that's clearly not helping. What is this? <laughs> what if we go backwards? Oh, okay. We went backwards a couple of times and now we're here. Don't know why, but I will take it. I imagine these might loop towards each other for some reason. Okay. So this one's got like, let's pay attention to these symbols. The door on the far left, not pink is like an open oval. This one above is like kind of crushed. This one is like an eye at the top. And this one's, this one's an eye at the bottom. And then this one's an eye in the middle. So these might be directions. Oh, whoa. Oh, okay. So hold on. Maybe the, maybe the symbol above the door was changing. Like see how this one's pointing down? I switch here. It's still pointing down. Let me go back through here. It's got to be an audio thing. So notice how the audio is on the left here. But then if I come up here, audio stops. If I'm back here, I hear the audio. No audio, like no song. Song on the left. There we go. I think we need to follow the, the song. We went into that middle one. It just took us right back. Here, we have the song here. Yeah, I think we're on to something. Here we go. Okay, cool. <laughs> That's so cool. I love it. Yeah. And it fades too. Okay, so that's the trick. So it's not this door, it's specifically this door. I can't open it though. Which means we might need to try and get the music to change. See how it's not at that door anymore? There we go. Okay, it's through here again. Oh, notice when I'm at this door? I'm in like broken television mode. I'm not able to pull this either. And also the shadow there in the bottom left door is here. Okay, so now the music's totally gone. It's back here again. It almost feels like if I could get through there with enough momentum, maybe I could swing that door open.
music. See how it like kind of opens? Maybe I can push this door. Oh. Yeah, there we go. There. Okay, so now find the music. There we go. Find it. Dudes, that is really cool. Now, we've had, like, little subtle sound cues in the past, but uh, not like this. And so when I was running back and forth in that first area, I wasn't picking up on the fact that it was the specific doors. I thought it was just, like, uh, left or right, if that makes sense. But it was more than that. Because it was changing each time we went through. Trying to see if it's necessarily... Yeah, this one. It definitely becomes super pronounced when you're at the right door. Beautiful. Found it. Holy what? Six is massive. That's not... That's not six, is it? She's gonna, I'm sure, kill me if I go there. <laughs> Here, maybe you'll want this toy. Whoa. A whisper. Give it up. Oh yeah, see? I'm actually onto something here. That's so cool. I like where this is going. I have to hit this or her. That doesn't seem to bother her at all. I'm going to try to break this music box if I can. There we go. Maybe in some way that was like keeping her trapped or something. Whoa. These chases where you don't know where to go, the first couple are always rough. No touching.
So this is... Oh my, look at her knees. The way that, Look at all of her limbs. She's got like 15 elbows. I'm gonna regret this. That's a weird little TV zap to have there. Okay, so she's back to protecting it. Ooh! Whoa! Oh, so now the call, like, leaves an echo or something. And gets her to lunge out at it. Do these just teleport to each other? Yeah. Okay, so I think... Okay. We need to grab the axe for sure, but that's the right thing. We need to go, like, whack the deal. <laughs> that's trippy. See an axe over there as well. Like, I have no clue what this is trying to signify... That's kind of like the underlying tone of all these areas and these and the people that we run into. Oh, here we go again. So now I need to figure out. Okay, so these go left and right. Whoa! Okay, so those top ones, she's like, don't come up here, dude. Don't do it. But there's only one way up, so I think from here... And I need to go this way. Oh, she's fast. She did attack me as soon as I went up, right? Yeah. So maybe that's the thing that I need to do? Not bad. Call her from here. And then do a little... Nice. Oh, that's tricky. These are cool. A bunch of little variations on the same type of puzzle to break that little box, which is... I, I don't know if that's kind of... Holding slash controlling her. Can I just go around this? Yep. Again. Okay, but the axe is in a different spot and there's an opening there. Not an opening here. Do these still go back and forth on the bottom? Yes. He doesn't like me being there. Now I need her to come to... Oh! Oh, it's cool. So she can actually hit us through the portal. Not attacking me here. I assume she will. Yep. Wow. Okay, so first step is to get the axe, I think. I'm gonna send her this side. Oh, okay. So we have the axe. <laughs> now, uh, 
I'm gonna call her here. There we go. <laughs> Got her. Now how many? Okay, so the, there was like three of those. Interesting. It just gets her to like recoil. I think we might have saved her. But like, what are we in exactly? It's living. Whatever it is. Oh, shit. An eyeball. Two eyeballs. Eyeballs and blubber. So many eyes. I feel like this is not good. Like, just barely hanging on here. What the f- Am I dead? I think I got absorbed by one of the mushy eyeballs. <laughs> Frick. So tight there. Okay, I'm thinking that I think on that one I don't follow her maybe because I think that little ledge there that gets broken I can maybe slide across on. Run! Holy smokes. See, she's gonna go left. I'm not. I'm gonna go here. Wait as long as possible! Get up! Oh, look at this. Watch, she's gonna turn. I'm gonna have to grab the arm. As we have done so many times in the past. Over seemingly unthinkable jumps. So cool. Now pull me up, please. It's a nice moment, but please. No. <gasps> what? Six, you evil little bitch. That was a very obvious let go. Whoa. Was she helping us to screw us over all along? Defeat us to the Ma? The Ma. I think she might actually be bad. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to feel like something's weird with six. Not everything is the way it seems to be. I'm going to just imagine this is uh, another planet instead of somebody's colon interior. Ball. Cool. What the? Oh, 
They're all looking at me. Why are you all looking at me like this? It's like the yellow, uh, or the, sorry, the purple, <laughs> purple teleporting light. got older I think yep definitely oh watch us turn into like that man in black or something Holy shit. Holy shit. We actually did, I think. Whoa. What? Is this to kind of signify, like, sometimes you live in a shitty life and, like, you end up being shitty? Or... Is this some type of thing where Six figured out that this guy, this man in black, was like masquerading as. I think the name is Mono, if I'm not mistaken. As this other character. And Six like saved everyone by killing like an early version or something. I don't know if it's like time related because we are teleporting, right? So like maybe Six. Maybe Six is good and realize that this little mono grows up to be this man in black psychopath, child abductor murderer guy. And it's like, nope, don't like that. I take back my, my little bitch comment now. Because I think that's what's going down. I think that's what's going down. Half hat. <laughs> man, I think that might be what's going down there. I think that might be what's going down. That was a cool little game, man. Like, I mean, it's very similar to the first one, um, but they improved upon a lot of the mechanics. They added the little combat thing, which I could have kind of gone either way with, but uh, such a cool vibe. Like what a cool atmosphere and like a lot of interesting little puzzles to solve. Um, I definitely missed a lot of hats. So there was clearly uh, different avenues to kind of take and stuff that I had missed. And if you want to play back through it to catch those, you could do so. Um, you could see some of the, some of the themes, especially the early levels, uh, typical things to be scared of as a young child, right? Like your school, hospitals, whatever, uh, bad, bad men, bad people. But, um, that little twist at the end there. Yeah. I don't know if it's like a time thing where, you know, if it's a time thing or if it's something else, but I think we are pretty close in terms of what they're trying to portray as a whole. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, I played this in two sittings, so I don't know how many hours it ended up being. This is, I guess, episode nine, I think, of a roughly half hour each. So like five hours, you could probably do it in three if you like didn't make any mistakes, um, which is probably fine. One of my biggest criticisms, I guess, would be like if you didn't make any mistakes, uh, that's almost impossible. 
like uh, especially the running sections i felt were kind of uh sometimes got a bit on the annoying side where you have to fail in order to figure it out right that's a little bit of a downside but you make up for it with atmosphere artistic style um sub themes um cool puzzles the characters were really neat and what i really liked is they almost had they almost had a bit of a brothers moment if you haven't played the game uh brothers tale of two sons i'm not going to spoil it but there's a moment at the end and everybody who has played it knows that moment there's a certain moment there that is memorable and special and they almost had it here but then they put the little prompt on the screen and kind of stole it a little bit um involving when we saw like uh what i thought was like bad six like with the 15 elbows so i won't spoil it for you but i feel like that moment we didn't need that prompt let the player figure that out you've let the player figure out so many things let the player figure that out and have like a oh cool moment and we actually kind of did before the prompt happened so that was kind of nice and it felt good but then the prompt comes up and you're like okay let the i wish they would just remove that remove the prompt <laughs> and that would be a much more powerful moment if you guys know what i'm saying i think you know what i'm saying anyways i know this game probably isn't for everyone and that's totally cool uh but i appreciate you guys watching i had a good time with it it's a quick one uh this will probably be up on what date so like wednesday ish i think a wednesday wednesday or thursday anyways let me know what you guys want to see next okay i've talked about a couple of uh a couple of suggestions uh Oberdin, uh not tonight which is as a like I don't know if it's a sequel, but it's a successor to Papers, Please. Oberdin is made by the Papers, Please guys. Um, I've talked about maybe trying uh, KOTOR. I don't know if, if I can find a great, you know, solution for playing it kind of up to date on modern hardware. I haven't tested it yet, but I might dive into that. Um, but yeah, let me know if there's other stuff that you guys might be interested in seeing. Uh, because there's not a lot of releases happening right now. It's kind of crazy. There's a whole bunch of like smaller games that are out, uh, which might be cool to just go through. Uh, Dyson Sphere Project. A lot of people have been saying I might enjoy that. It's kind of like a space Factorio. I haven't played Factorio, but I've played Satisfactory, which is like 3D Factorio. Um, so there might be something to get lost in there. But um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I'm really... I really do take all of your suggestions to heart. And if you don't mind, leave the suggestions in the comments below. And if, before you make a suggestion, look through the comments and see if it's been made and then just upvote that so that I see it. Because I'll see like the most popular ones very easily. But I will go through the entire list and just look for any gems. And uh, I'm open to trying some different stuff in the next little while, um, while there's not a ton of releases happening. So yeah. Thank you guys so much. Hey, I really appreciate the support. If you've been a long time viewer, you're the best. Been doing this for a long time uh, on and off, kind of just experimenting my way through YouTube. And uh, yeah, I really appreciate all of your support. So thank you so much, dudes. We'll see you in the next one and uh, have a good one. Okay, bye for now. Actually, let's wait till the end here and let's just see if there's anything going down.